Wow. Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flare Mouse. Today we're going to look at the Warwolf Ordnance 69 caliber pumpkin balls. Shorty shell version. Four of these came in this sampler box that contained a lot of their other uh, mini shells that contained buckshot, mini slugs, uh, birdshot, and stuff like that. But check out the link in the description because they have some pretty exotic stuff that they sell on their site. The shell is just under two inches and contains a one and an eighth ounce lead ball. Some may ask, why would you want a shorter shell? Why would you want to do that? It's all about capacity. In my Mossberg 590, I can normally get eight uh, two and three quarter inch shells in this, in the tube itself, but I can get ten of these in there. These are long enough that they feed reliably. Often the problem with the Aguila mini shells is they will tumble around in there and get jammed up as you're racking it into the chamber. So enough of me talking, let's shoot them. Tell later folks, here we are again today. Uh, we're going to try out some new stuff here sent by Warwolf Ordnance. They sent Jeff a uh, sample pack. We've got, what, five different ones? But for today, we're going to shoot these pumpkin balls. 69 caliber lead ball. And uh, these are some mini shells. And this is the Agia mini shell, just for size comparison. All right, All right first one, we're going to try it through a fully rifled barrel. Yeah, you non-believers, there is such a unicorn out there, a rifled shotgun. But rifle shotguns don't exist. They have smooth bores. Uh, Never mind. Go hide and watch. <laughs> All right, let's see how it chambers. Looks good. Seems like they're going to work. All right, let's do this. Keep that finger off the trigger. The trigger off your finger. Keep the trigger off my finger. <laughs> okay, Gunner. Wow, went right through them. Yeah. That's, good That's got a good to thump to it. Good yeah. loud report. Where were you aiming? I was aiming for a belly button right there. Okay, that wasn't too bad then. A little bit low right. That was through rifle barrels, so there might be a little bit of that baseball spin effect. The Corioli areolus effect? Yeah, through my curveball. And then flip it around, and I don't know if there's yeah. much of an exit wound. Yeah, a little bit. It's pretty good, it, it took a chunk out. Okay, at least we know. That's that's the genuine gummy candy gummy bear. Gummy bear. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, this time we're going to try it through a smooth bore. We're not sure if the spin on that ball was giving us a problem or not. So we're going to go smooth bore. We're going to shoot the pumpkin ball first. And then we're going to try the uh, Agia mini slug. Just as a comparison. Just as a comparison from See, a ball to a slug. This is the, if there's a big power difference. I, it sounded like that first shot was a lot louder. I mean, it had a good, solid thump to it. Yeah. So I think they loaded, I don't think they wimped out on the powder with those, so... No, it felt good. So you have a short shell. Not, it's not as short as a mini shell, but you have more power. And those of you who are wondering, where's the powder? It's there. It's in the brass. Yeah, it's. I've noticed that comment a few times because the people couldn't see the powder because oh, it's okay. down in the high brass. There's here. a there's a, about, about a quarter inch cavity underneath yeah. the brass. It doesn't go down that deep. Right about there. Okay. That's that's pretty impressive. That's got a good thump to it. Those, yeah. Those are loaded good. Yeah. Okay, now to compare it to the Aguila mini shell. Definitely not as uh, violent. Yeah. While the Aguila mini shells, mini slugs in particular, will get the job done, I always found them 
kind of wimpy and anemic. They have an advertised velocity of around 1,200 feet per second, I believe. And that's about the same velocity we were getting with these uh, pumpkin balls. But the Aguila Mini Slug is only 7 eighths of an ounce, while our pumpkin ball is a whopping 1 and an eighth ounce. Big difference in mass. Okay, let's look at the damage now. All right. Looks like both of them are fairly accurate. Both of them hitting the center of the label. This was the uh, pumpkin ball. Yeah, pretty decent shatter. Yeah, it ripped it up pretty it, good. It blew it apart pretty good. And this is the uh, Gia Mini Slug. Not quite a, not quite the reaction. Yeah, a little. It it was a little quieter. It's little hard to quieter. tell on audio, you know, in video, how quiet or loud these things are. Not quite so much of a thump either. So, okay, it's a little bit less. That that tells a lot right there, you know. Yeah. Okay, we got our wonderful ballistic loaf out. Let's see what it does to that. I'm ready. All right. While not much seemed to happen in real time when we shot the ball through the gel, in slow motion you can see it did create a nice temporary cavity there. It appears that the ball was deformed as it left the gel. While gel seems soft and gooey, it is a pretty abusive target, um, often doing as much damage to the projectile as it does to the gel itself. That's the way we were sitting. There's our entrance. That is the saddest piece of ballistic gel on YouTube. <laughs> is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have full pass through though. It's hard to find the exit hole, but that's it right there. Okay. We saw cavitation and Pretty much just pushed its way through. It didn't <laughs> didn't blow chunks. That is some sad gel, though. Sad <laughs> gel. <laughs> Bad gel. <laughs> Ballistic particle board. Yes, sir. I'm ready when you are. All right. Wow. Oh. Yeah. It's like a cannon going through there. Wow. A lot of people have asked us. Hey, why don't you put the high-speed camera on the back side of the target so we can watch the projectile coming out the back and whoa, what a great idea. You know, let's try that out. It worked out really well. Um, we do read your comments. We often reply to you. Sometimes they're kind of sarcastic and snarky sounding, but we're just having fun. You know, we're replying to your comments and it's all in the good spirit of not ignoring you as so many other channels do these days. I mean, why leave a comment if they just ignore you, right? We want to thank Epic Trailer Music UK for allowing us to use their music. Check them out, subscribe to them, and you'll make his day. Really nice guy. All right. Well, that was my point of aim. That little brake barrel blackjack doesn't have really any sights but a bead sight. So, point of impact, a wadding. Let's see what the exit wound looks like. Like a volcano, man. Yeah. Yeah, no problem going through. Now, how many layers are there? Is there 10? There's two, four, six, eight. yep, 10 layers. Okay, and that's about a half inch? It's, it's three eighths. Three eighths, okay. Yeah, I know that for a fact. Okay. All right. It just went right through that sucker. got larger and larger as it came out. So, yeah, uh, good home defense round. I think, I think these things have the power and the shortness, so you have kind of the best of both worlds, you know? They feel like full power loads. Yeah, they didn't they didn't wimp out, you know. It's a mini shell, but with full power, you know. I didn't expect to have full power. Awesome. We hope you enjoyed that video. If you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe because we got some pretty awesome stuff coming up, including uh, shooting a bunch of different metals out of the shotgun. I think you'll enjoy it. Lots of flames and lots of carnage. Thanks for watching.